Hey guys, Robert Lund here. Today, I am displaying my friend's home that he just remodeled. It's his five acres. This is a mobile home, but there's 10 structures on the property. Five acres in Duet, Florida. Fully remodeled, over 1,500 square feet, built in 1994 for only 517 guys. And he, and I'm gonna show you a surprise at the end of this video, what he said he's willing to do when we go to that back barn that's already half converted to an apartment. And he's willing to fully convert this structure to an apartment uh, included in the price. So he does all the work himself, very handy. You'll see all the work that he's done in this home. I'm gonna take you through the whole property. I mean, there's all different areas in this whole property. There's, you know, goat pens and animal pens and there's a chicken coop over there. There's gazebos, there's two barns, there's two wells, two septics. There's different like fenced off pen areas all over the property. And what we'll do is we're gonna kind of start up from the front here. And I'm gonna show you everything that this property has to offer guys. If you're not familiar with Duet, Florida, Duet is, just kind of it's like it's like kind of part of parish i don't know it's, it kind of says like when you're in parish it'll say duet right so like my address used to say duet but i'm in north river ranch um so it was all kind of the same i think town or or you know district or whatever you want to call it township um back in the day but then you know parish i think is kind of broke off and be, is becoming the city of parish now so yeah guys i'm gonna show you this awesome listing and I can't tell if there's glare in my camera there. No, nope, seems to be all right. But um, Duet is, if you're not familiar with Parish, okay, it goes out about 10 miles east. This is about, it's about eight miles, right? And this is right on the line, right on Bunker Hill Road. And there's like a little church in here. It's like a little, a little like subdivision. There's a winery. This is like the only winery out in here. This is like this, uh, Older couple, they have this nice winery right on the street, right on Bunker Hill. This is right off of Bunker Hill. And they have all these natural wines that are no sugar added. They have all, they farm everything right there. They have got like, they just came out with a seasonal watermelon wine. I'm gonna go try a couple bottles of that. Um, they've got this field grape wine. They've got grape wine. They've got strawberry wine. They've got guava wine. They've got tea wine. They've got coffee wine. They've got cherry tomato wine. They've got wine made out of like every single thing. Coconut wine. They have, they have all these amazing wines. I'm like, what the heck? Pineapple wine. Um, they have some really cool wines there. And like I said, no sugar added. Prices are super affordable. It's like 12 bucks a bottle. Um, really good stuff. Um, love it. It's a nice little place. And so coming to the front, if you're not familiar, like I said, guys, Duet. So I'm on my way to a listing out in Mayaka. So if you're familiar with Mayaka, it's starting to blow up, you know, five acre properties. And that's a one point, it's going to be a $1.1 million five acre listing in Mayaka. This is only 517 fully remodeled. Of course, the, the Mayaka listing that's going to be, you know, it's a, it's a larger house, 2,500 square feet with an in-law apartment, three car garage built in 2023. Um, really nice place, guys. So this is where I'm at. This is the street, the front. So you're very private, very private place. And as Parrish develops, as you can, as you know, if you've seen on my videos, if I showed you how Parrish is going to develop, there's only over 27,000 homes going to be finished in Parrish by 2045. Little downtown areas, um, hospitals, colleges. So all that will be eight miles there. And then where do you think they're going to go next after all that's built out? And there's all these downtown areas. There's this big major metropolis with all brand new everything and all these homes and schools and people are gonna go for the next best thing because Parrish is gonna get it more expensive and more expensive and they're gonna start to develop duet, right? And you think maybe it's a little far out there, but State Road 62, that goes straight into Lakeland. 
you know, that goes straight into Lakeland. You can get to Kissimmee. That's usually a cut through when you put it on your GPS to travel, you know, especially if it's on like a Friday night, there's that Friday night traffic going up to Orlando. It will take you, cut you right through here, right through 62 and you'll come, you'll drive right by this property. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're commuting to Lakeland or somewhere like that, guys, this is a great property. It's a great investment property, a great property to hold for future appreciation, guys. Um, this is, and especially this little subdivision here, I mean, it's already paved roads and it's, like I said, it's a little, they've got a, they've got like a little, uh, I saw like a little post office thing there and then. There's a, like a church, then there's the winery, there's a few houses, a bunch of farms. It's a cool little area. Um, so let's go, I'm gonna flip this camera around. We're gonna do a tour. I hope I don't have to convince you that this is a good investment because I think it's a great investment. If you're, you know, if you're not trying to make a quick flip, you know, if it's something you wanna put your money in, get some cash flow, and then get a solid amount of appreciation over time in, in a crazy tough market like this, you want to be investing in places where you know there's going to be forced depreciation and it's going to survive market cycles, right? So let's check it out, guys. Let me flip this around. And just heard some kind of interesting animal out in the back there. But yeah, if you guys want to have horses, goats, you could clear some of this out and make good horse terrain, you know, fence more of it off. Maybe have your horses in a stable out here in the front, something like that goes all the way back here guys you know, it's five acres and it's not it's not wetlands and it's not all wooded either so I mean there's a lot of stuff already in play here you can farm all your own food like I said though the winery they farm everything there all their own produce you have your own animals you know if you're you want that organic, you know, off the grid lifestyle, guys. You know, you just have an electric bill out here and maybe an internet, but you're not gonna have a water bill, you're not gonna have a sewer bill. You wouldn't even have, you wouldn't even need to have a food bill if you had your own animals. I mean, yeah, you have to pay to take care of the animals, but other than that, turn it into a little, you can sell some of your stuff on the side, have a little shop. You know, people that are coming to the winery, there's a little uh, little pond right there. So there is some water on the property. You do have a pond, you can clear that out, make it nice. That's good for irrigation. And there's like a little pen right here. Heck, have a little alligator farm. <laughs> But yeah, some gardening. There was like some sort of a garden for crops here in this little patch, I think. Something like that was growing here. There's a freaking bathtub out there. I don't even know. Um, for the most part, it's a, it's a nice clear property. It's all well groomed and cleaned up. Nice, lots of shade. It's a nice oak trees, you know, fresh air, fresh clean air that you can breathe real easy. Lots of oxygen. We got, uh, like I said, 10 structures on this property. There's some of your well over there. I'm sure there's every piece of wildlife on this property you can imagine. I'm sure you got deers running through here. You know, all kinds of reptiles and birds and furry creatures. Got a little pole barn here. Nice, got some fans. You could, you could, you know, reestablish this and a little, it's nice and cool right here. Very cool. Get some breeze going through here. Escape from the sun, hang out. Got a little table there, make a little bar or whatever. Go grab some wine. So yeah, guys, uh, it's pretty nice. There's a well system here. That's the property line back here. 
it's got, you know, it's pretty well put together property. It's your neighbors. Definitely ride like, uh, you know, four wheelers. Make a little track out here. Go horse riding, whatever you want to do. Five acres. So what we'll do is we'll go look at the main house here. It's a double wide mobile home built in 1994. Over 1,500 square feet. Fully remodeled. You got a little carport right here. It's nice, good shape. It's all new wood, all redone. We did a good job on the remodel. It's got a good roof on it. Um, aluminum roof. another pen right here you can put some goats in the dogs or whatever a little hangout spot for some animals put some pigs some of the neighbors back there let's just check out over here real quick satellite dish this would be probably your drain field for your septic it's right in this area Buddy and his family are out back cleaning up some debris and burning some debris. Getting the place nice and tidy. Been working hard at this place for months and months now. So you come in. Nice LVP flooring, all fresh paint. This will be your master. Got a pretty big closet here. He's got his tools in here now, but a good size little walk-in closet. Clean. As he gets the tools out of there. Like I said, he'll he'll remodel this back barn area and make an apartment for you guys so you could have it like a multi-family property. Big bathroom, shower. And you can put whatever right there. If you want to put a tub, something like that, you can plumb in the tub. A garden tub. Floor is solid. It's not like, you know, it's not like, not like thump, 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 you know? It's pretty solid, pretty level. All new kitchen. new countertops, big and wide, Little table there, all new appliances, uh, air vent goes right outside, laundry room back here, back door, extra exit, here's your uh, panel. 150 amp. Washer and dryer included. Some shelving. Yeah, you could do a little bit more with this, guys, if you wanted to. Plenty of big rooms, guys. Huge rooms. Look at this room. Big bedrooms. Three bedroom, two bath. Walk in closets. Here's your hall bath. All remodeled. Nice vanity. Another good size room here. It's got a nice baseboard. Nice windows. Another big closet. Let me show you this uh, back porch area. It's nice. It's a new slider. Easy. You got a chill spot. You got a tree growing through here. Look at that. That's cool. Nice oak. You know, I, I, I read something that, you know, the, the oak trees, they have the highest level of consciousness. 
for all of the, the plant kingdom. They're good to have around. It's good energy. So trees. It's ancient oaks. We have the highest level of consciousness in the mammalian kingdom. And dolphins have the highest level of consciousness in the ocean. A little gazebo here. I have a wedding out here. <laughs> Remodel this. There you go. Kids are all riding their electric bikes around, going for rides. It's like a little summer camp here with him and his family right now. We got that all screened off so no critters can get under there. There's your split unit AC right here. Goodman. Another area back here. This is where there was a above ground pool. So, you know, you could uh, maybe screen something in so it doesn't become a mess. Or just put, put yourself in a little pool, one of those quick set pools or something like that. Got some more pens over here. Make a playground for the kids. Trampoline back here. Here's another barn. If you wanted to make this, a, you know, in the future, remodel this to another living unit. Tap it into the septic. Give it its own septic. Or you just have it as storage. That's what it's used for now. All tinned out storage area stuff a little, uh, little pull-up bar there got some uh, there's a chicken coop over here nice chicken coop he didn't really remodel this but it's all Big coop, lots of pens inside there, guys. So, I mean, the wood law looks pretty good from here. Uh, it's basically just got like a fence, fence panels, and uh, you know, a pole barn structure with fence panels and pens inside there. So, just clean up this area, boom, instant chicken coop. Get your own fresh eggs every day. Here you go, guys. This this and it has its own entrance. You see, I pulled my truck up here. Um, property continues. You know, we'll get in there last, but there's already a bathroom in there. He's already spray foamed it, the insulation in there. So, and then this seems to be the end of the property back here. So this is the property line goes to this fence here. Burn debris there have bonfires or whatever. It's a good spot for that. You know, grow an orchard, get some fruit trees out here. You know, get some apples, some mangoes, some avocados, oranges. So here's your barn. And he said he will enclose this and remodel it into an apartment with, you know, extra high ceilings. So I don't know if he was just referring to this or this whole area, but I'll check with him. But this right in here, guys, it's already kind of, he's already started insulating it. Put a shower right here. Gonna put a real vanity right there. This would be your bathroom. It'd be a room. You could get a closet in here. Um, you know, make it a little apartment. And then, you know, maybe like a living room area, dining room area place for storage here so it's it's a nice property guys I mean for five grand for 500 just over 500,000 in a multi-family that you don't have to do any work to other than just start your farm and your new lifestyle a place that's going to appreciate 
I mean, you could even live here and rent out this. Whatever, right? So, live here for free. Have that pay your mortgage. Yeah, guys. So, I'm headed to my listing appointment in my ACA right now. I got that, got to be there at 12. But five acres for just over 1.1, built in 2023 with an in-law apartment, three-car garage. Uh, this is available for 517 with that. And a little negotiable, if you don't want them to remodel that, we can take a little bit off of the price. So guys, contact me at 941-879-4730. And make sure you're checking out my channel, guys, for all my new construction tours all my educational videos on there, all my listings that I put on there, guys, and uh, all over the this Tampa Bay area from, you know, the Lakewood Ranch, Parrish, Duet, uh, Wamama, up to Riverview, guys. So check out robertlunt.com for any resources you need, and I hope to hear from you soon, guys. Have a great day. I'll show you the neighborhood real quick. Take a left out of here. This is the Bunker Hill subdivision, which is very high ground, so it's not a flood zone, guys. This is uh, over 30 feet above sea level out here. It's like almost 50 feet, I think. So it's called Bunker Hill. It's up, it's kind of up on a hill. I mean, that's why it's called Bunker Hill. Um, I think right over here, there's a little bit of a church. Here on the left, there's a church. You know, a bunch of people with horse properties over there, horses and crops. And a little bit of a worship service, uh, a little, you know, Baptist church right here. And then right at the end here, guys, is the winery. So I'm gonna stop there, grab some watermelon wine, and then head to my listing. Not drinking wine, of course, but for this weekend, that watermelon wine sounds good. Chill on some ice, a piece of watermelon inside of it. Look at all these grapevines. This is at Bunker Hill Winery. We got all these grapes growing right out here in the front. He's an Air Force veteran. Nice little couple here. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I've been here twice already. And you get free wine tasting here as well. Yeah, I'll try. Actually, I, I, I don't think I can right now because oh, okay. um, I can't do any wine tasting right now because I gotta go to a there listing appointment. All right, cool. Right here? Okay, boom. Watermelon wine. They got edelberry wine, edelberry. Strawberry. Last time I got, I, I love the field wine, so that's my favorite. It's uh like, yeah, this one, the field blend. It's a uh, half red, half white. They've got sugar cane wine, I mean, they've got everything. Black tea, tangerine, lime, red grapefruit, coffee wine, pineapple wine. You didn't even think that you can make all these wines, which again, jalapeno wine, sparkling like champagne, sparkling wines, blueberry sparkling. Wow. Huh. I have to try that. All right, make all these like basil, sea salt, sun-dried tomatoes. Got skinny pop, but yeah, you can sit down and do wine tastings. They have the, the small bottles that you can make a six pack. It's like two glasses of wine. Look at that, guys. I think they're like six ninety nine for a little bottle. They make their own uh, preserves. This place is where it's at. All fresh, made from here, locally. We've got all the accessories. We got it going on, guys. 
and they uh, you know get, get you to recycle the bottles with them and reuse them and then you they'll send you out emails with all the updates of what's going on um, pretty cool operation there we go guys got myself a six pack and uh, he said a cow got loose so the sheriff showed up and a cow busted through the fence up there and ended up running down 62 so they're looking for the cow right now so i gotta head to Mayaka. so i gotta watch out for this cow too because you don't want to hit a cow for the cow's sake and for my own sake because they'll probably both die so but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video call me 941-879-4730 look forward to hearing from you soon have a great day